Coach, I'm sure it was okay. some uh, First, thoughts. just congratulations to College of Charleston. I mean, that's a really, really good team. And Doug has done a, a fabulous job in a short period of time of totally changing styles. And he, the biggest and most impressive thing is he's gotten his kids to buy into it. Uh, with that being said, congratulations to our team. We absolutely busted our tail. In every sense of the word, we played as hard as we could possibly play. I have put my th team through a gauntlet of a schedule, an absolute gauntlet of a schedule at Arizona, at Alabama, at Charlotte, Charleston, or College of Charleston at home. That's four potential top 25 teams, one top 10 team. And we have responded every night. And my message to them after the, in the locker room was, you absolutely busted your tail. You represented our university and you represented yourself with a tremendous amount of class tonight. And we did everything we could possibly do to try to win that game outside of shooting the ball. We had a two minute stretch in the first half uh, when we had a little different lineup in there where we took three in a row crazy shots. The first two minutes of the second half and a two minute stretch in the, in the second half where we got down 12 and we hung our head and we tried to dribble and take, and we took some, some crazy shots. Other than that, those shots will grade out very highly. They will grade out very well. And, and, and we grade them, they'll, they'll be threes. You can't get more open than we're open. And they just haven't gone down. But you can, you can, you can bet your bottom dollar right now, it will change. It will turn. And these guys that wore Charleston, the Charleston Southern uniform tonight are going to have a great year. And you can put it down, I said it tonight, we're going to have a great year. And as long as we continue to play with that type of energy and effort. Um, they're hard to guard. They have inside strength. Andrew Lawrence is a pro. And, um, and I, re I respect their, th that team a lot. Mark, we just talked about obviously Arlon, you know, he gave you a chance there at the end. Obviously Lawrence did a couple of foul, you know, free throws, but Arlon gave you that chance at the end, uh, you know, hitting a couple shots and, and really electrifying the, you know, the atmosphere to kind of put you in a one point game with 40 seconds left. He's the best two guard in our league. I wouldn't trade him for any two guard that we've played against this year. Arlon's greatest attribute is his heart is as big as Charleston. He's a, he's a ferocious warrior. He is a confident kid, and he played a tremendous game tonight. Uh, we had him jamming Andrew, doing his best on him, and um, I, I respect uh, Arlon immensely. So you, you, they got up 12, and, and you guys battled back. Just the, the fortitude that your team showed there in the second half of the second half. It's, our team has showed it all year. I mean, you just don't understand the gauntlet of a schedule I've put them through. I mean, we have hung them out. And they have responded every night. And, and you, can, you can bound on this, too. It will help us. That schedule is going to help us. And, and I don't know when, but it's going to turn. And this team is going to be tough to guard, and we're going to have a great season. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed with my group. I'm so impressed because we're going to make threes. We're going to make threes. You, you can just count on it. We're going to make threes. Coach, there was a point in that second half where you told Saw to calm down a little bit there on running the offense, and then he, he seemed to have a, a stretch where he really took over. Can you just talk about him? I love Saw Nimley. Saw Nimley, is, is, his heart's bigger than his body. And he just, there's times, and, and we did it against Charlotte, and we did it a little bit against East Tennessee, and we did it for six minutes tonight, where we try so hard to help our team. There's not one selfish bone in those kids' body. They are not doing that selfishly. They are trying, they're trying to hit a home run instead of trying to take a single. And, and as you grow and mature and you get past your 32nd and 33rd and 34th college basketball game, you learn that that's not the right play to make. You trust your teammate, let the ball come back to you. And, and, and I, but I, I mean, those, it, the, I, like Lou Holtz says, I'd much rather say, whoa, than sick them. With Arlon and Sai, you never have to say sick him. With our whole team, you never have to say sick him. You, we've, we've just had to say whoa a little bit. It, it, when, you, when you talk to these guys, obviously they're upset that they're losing some games, but how do you kind of explain to them, look, your future is going to depend on five days in Myrtle Beach at the end of March, with, you know, and this is kind of preparing you for that, I guess. Big picture. It's a long season. It's a big picture. Uh, I've relied on some coaching friends in the profession to talk it through with them. Um, I mean, we've put this guy, these guys through a gauntlet. I mean, we've put them through an absolute – nobody in the Big South is playing that schedule. And it is a home game 
a, a, a non-guarantee game against College of Charleston, really? Really? I mean, there's, that's another high major. And so it will help us in the long run. And every day I tell them big picture, big picture. And, and you know what? They're getting it because they couldn't come out there and do that and that type of effort if, if they didn't get the big picture. So they are working and grinding. We've had film session after film session. They're here till 10 o'clock. They're watching film. They're do I mean, they're working, and it will turn. Before you guys shut down, I, 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 and Hank is standing right here, uh, I, that, that's as good as it gets at Charleston Southern. I mean, that's a big-time atmosphere in there. That is well done by Zeke and his staff and Hank and his staff. And, and that, you know, I just want it to continue. That, 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 is, that, that helps our school so much. There's so much school spirit and there's so much pride in this basketball team right now for that number of kids to come out. And to, at, at 6 o'clock, it's 75, 80 people deep out there. And, and I just appreciate how hard our administration has worked, how hard Zeke and his staff has worked, and I appreciate you guys being here. And I, you can just mark it down tonight. It will turn. It will turn. Thank you, Coach. All right, so I just talked about, uh, you know, obviously leading that team through a charge there. It just didn't seem to just come up a, a little short, a little too little, a little too late, I guess. Yes, sir. Um, we, we, we got down. There was a couple stretches in the game where we didn't help ourselves on offense and we took some tough shots and it got us down. But um, I want to uh, show my team a lot of love because they showed a lot of heart and we fought back and we brought it close and we had a chance to win at the end. We just couldn't make a, a play at the end. Aren't a lot of people just pull the mic over to you. Um, just that being the job one. Uh, just talk about obviously yeah, that, that stretch there at the end. I mean, you gave you gave it uh, as much as you could, knocked down a bunch of big shots. It just was uh, one too short, I guess. Um, I mean, Coach Harps on. I mean, everybody. This team believes in me. I believe in me. And um, I mean, I'm one of the guys who late in the game when we need to um, play. I'm one of the guys I take pride in trying to make that play. So. Um, I mean, I got a couple open looks. Um, I just wasn't able. I just wasn't able to hit it. Talk a little about the pick and roll. You were just killing with that. It seemed like all night long. Uh, yeah, we we're we're really a lot of ball screening team because um, we got a lot of players that when they screen, they can make plays off the dribble. They can make plays off the jump shot. So we like to utilize that a lot during the games and go to that. So if a team wants to come bring two to me, I'm kicking it back to my teammate. He's making a play. Or if they want to go under, I could pull up for the shot. If they want to go around it, I could beat the big man. And I mean, we just try to play out of that and then run to our motion. You guys got up, uh, they got up, what, I guess, 12 or 13 there at one point in the second half. And what was going on in the huddles and, you know, during those timeouts? And then how did you guys get back into the game? Uh, we were we were pretty poised in the uh, huddle. We knew we knew a basketball is a game of runs. So um, we knew they made their run. It was time to make our run. And fortunately, we made our run. But I mean, we just came to pull up short. Oh. Um, yeah, um, I mean, obviously we got down, um, but um, we're just telling it we're fighters. I mean, nobody in this locker room uh, on this team is going to give up. Every day we come to fight. I mean, we're not the biggest team, but we probably got the biggest heart. So, I mean, we got down, um, just telling the guys to stay patient, you know, keep fighting, keep fighting. And um, we, we knew we'd make a run at the end and have a chance to win. But like you said, I mean, we just came up just a little bit short. They made a, they made enough players to um, come out here with a win.